hey everyone welcome back guys in this video you will learn how you can forward the data back to the trigger application after the execution of your automation or workflow so basically here i'm going to tell about a feature of pably connect which is called data forwarder and how you can use it to forward the data back to the source or trigger application after the whole execution of your automation so guys sometime what happens for example, let's say you are taking registration of any event via a form or you are taking registration for uh, any live concert or anything like that. OK, so what you want in that case, whenever any registrant submits the form, you want to pop up something in front of that user, like the information of the table number, the seat number, the booking details the timing or the venue details okay so that he can know that okay my registration is done and the event is on this date and time and this is my details okay for such uh, automations we use data forwarder so that after execution of the whole workflow the data that you have received and processed by via the automation will be delivered to the same source application okay so here we have taken a similar example to show you how you can do this so let's begin so guys to start you need to reach the dashboard of Pably connect first and to reach here first of all you have to reach on this page and the link of this page is in the description which is pably.com slash connect from here you can set up your free Pably connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month okay so uh, sign up right now and log in to reach here and when you log in you will reach this page and from this access now button you can access the dashboard of Pavli connect and here you have to create a workflow just click here on this create workflow button so here i am giving the name to the workflow as uh, data forwarding to the source okay So you can give any name according to you uh, and then click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will see the trigger and the action so automation work on these two things guys so the trigger is the event which triggers the workflow and starts the workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger okay so we have taken the example of uh, booking for a live concert so here I have created this booking page or you can see registration page with the help of Pably form builder so this will act as a trigger so the form submission will act as a trigger event here in this case so first of all you have to set up this trigger so after execution of this whole workflow we are going to forward some data out from this workflow to uh, this page on the thank you page of this form okay so as and when the form is going to be submitted the person who has filled the form is going to see some data appeared uh, on the thank you page okay for that just first of all set up the trigger so from this choose that field choose the trigger application as pably form builder by which we uh, we have created the form so this is pably form builder select it and in the trigger event you have to select new submission and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Pably Form Builder application. And after that, with the help of this connection, we are going to capture some test data out of the form submission. OK, so you can follow these instructions written here to make a connection. Let me show you how exactly you can do this. So guys, uh, this is my Pably Form Builders dashboard. And here I have created this form live music concert. OK. And guys, after selecting this form from this uh, menu on the top in the forms field, you have to click on this integrations button and on from the left hand side panel, click on integrations. All right. So, uh, OK, so you need to select your form again. This is live music concert. OK. And here, guys, in this form, you have to add a webhook by clicking on this create webhook button. OK. So click on create webhook and here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So just copy this URL from here, paste it here in this add webhook field and then click on save. Okay, so we have added a new webhook here 
and you can see it started showing waiting for the web hooks response so and here you can see in the response it started showing label and the value as we have added the web hook here okay so it will show you the label and the value now we are going to recapture the web hook response by clicking on this recapture button and we are going to fetch a test form submission here and with the help of the data of that test submission we are going to move forward okay so just click on this recapture button click on yes and you can see it started waiting for the response again now let's do a demo or test submission so this is my form and here i'm filling the uh, name of the person as this ashish singh is filling this form and this is the email id of this person and this is the uh this is the mobile number okay and this person is filling this form and submitting so you can see the message is submitted the form is submitted here and now you can see here in this workflow we got the response here like this in this response received section and it is showing the name and all the values the person has filled go, uh, is here okay so guys we got the test data as this here in this response now i want to send this person the booking details like the seat number or the ticket number uh, such things okay for that to happen uh, to create a ticket number we are going to use a feature of Pabli Connect which is called number formatter and here we are going to generate some random numbers between uh, let's say 100 to 200 okay so for that to happen search for number formatter from here and in the action event use spreadsheet formulas option select spreadsheet formulas then click on connect and here it is asking for the formula so guys to create random integers between two numbers you can check the for formula list from uh, this list here okay and here you will find a formula which is called uh, rand between let me show you so from this page under the math formula section you will find this formula let me show you rand between okay so you can see this is the formula rand between here you have to put two numbers and it will give you random integers between the top and the bottom value just copy this formula from here like this and come back to the workflow paste it here okay so let's say i want the numbers random numbers between 100 and 200 okay so it will assign different unique values between 100 and 200 to our registrants okay so click on save and send test request and it will give you a random integer like this we got 104 here now uh, what we want we want to send the data back to the source now back to this thank you page of this form submission here okay so to get the data here in the trigger application or the source application we are going to use a feature of Pabli connect which is called data forwarder okay so you have to apply data forwarder always at the end of your workflow in the last step okay so this is our last step and here we are selecting data forwarder and here in the action event it will show you this option return workflow response to the source so select this okay and then click on connect and now it is asking the data that you want to send here on the trigger application in json format so here we are going to uh, create the json type format and fill in the details and map the details so guys here i have entered the json format and here i'm going to map the values that i want to forward to the source like the first name of the person the last name who have registered and the ticket id for that person and the table number okay so you just have to click here in between these inverted commas like this and you will find the previous two steps in the drop down and from this first step where we have received the test form submission from any test user just click here and you can see all the data that you have received in the first step so from here only map the first name here in the uh, in the invert in between inverted commas of the last name label map the last name from here like this for the ticket id use the first step only and you will find this ticket id label here map it and for the table number now we are going to map the data from the second step where we have generated random integers between 100 and 200 
so from uh, here I'm going to map this result label okay that's how you can enter enter the data that you want to forward okay and now just click on save here and let me show you now how uh, it will work in real time so I'm opening my form again guys so guys here I have opened the form again and here you can see I have entered the data as Rakesh Nair Mr. Rakesh Nair is filling this form and here are the details of this person and I'm going to click on submit now and you can see the form is getting submitted and within a few seconds this person who have filled this form is going to receive some data on this thank you page only and you can see the data got populated here in uh, like this you can see it is showing the first name Rakesh last name and the ticket ID for this number and the table number also okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and here I have forgot to tell you a little detail uh, inside your Pabli form builder here you need to do one thing in the settings uh, here you can see we have this live concert form click on the edit settings icon and this is the editor of the form from here click on the settings and you will see the thank you page setting guys and in the thank you page setting you have to add this tag uh, a square bracket show underscore web hook underscore response then close the square bracket so you have to enter this tag here so that it, uh, after this only this data will appear on the thank you page okay so this is how it is going to work so you can use the data forwarder for any other of the purposes as well and guys if you want to use this workflow you can use this workflow only also because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel